You're watching Jimadism Total Nerdy Channel. We are back into From the Depth. Jimadism. Where we are building the super battle carrier for our patron, the Stellar Admiral LCG Canyon, which is our highest commissioned officer in the army of Jimadism. Thanks also to Captain Scooberox and Commander Regin and Lieutenant Asteria and our new. Uh, Lieutenant powered by greed. Here is the old version of uh, th th this. This is not the cur This is the version from the last uh, episode, so we can kind of uh, delete this thing. Because I'm going to show you a new thing. Because somewhere around here there will be a new thing. But anyways, <laughs> again, thanks a lot, LCG Canyon, for supporting the channel so much. Stellar Admiral, he's uh, also helping us out at YouTube membership. So that's really amazing. If you want to, you can be a YouTube member too. Uh, now, poor thing. It looks like we're going to we're going to rust. Kind of cool swimming animation, though. I didn't realize that. Ooh. And what do we have here? This is the back portion of the ship, and you can see we have added a little um, area thing here. Yes, we've added. A little area thing. This is some kind of storage uh, area thing, which you can see we have also um, like it's not like walkways, but they're like road areas. And you can go in here, and we got some uh, material storage here. They're actually real material storage, and of course, it's just minor material storage, just some extra. I just wanted to have some. Uh, I don't know, realism feeling. I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, so then we have kind of a little hangar and I'm thinking here we'll have ammunition. We actually have some real ammunition too here. Um, we have ammunition materials and stuff like that uh, for the aircrafts which we're going to add because you might see this is a, well, aircraft carrier thing. Uh, this LAM node, we're, it's light blocks by now but uh, we're gonna change that of course because um, if you didn't know, light blocks can be a little bit, uh, should we say, scary. So if we, for example, go and have a little debug explosion, uh, it kind of, you know, it's kind of volatile thing. Even close by, they kind, of, they don't chain react all the way, but they're a little bit like ammo boxes, like these things. Hmm. I just wanted to check if I need to add mimics here. They don't risk blowing up the uh, engine, so, but hmm, we'll see. We'll see what LCG Canyon thinks too. So, uh, one thing more I've added to this thing, which you don't see, is that I've changed the ammo on some of these turrets. I have changed them to be, uh, look, explosions. I've changed them to be uh, sabots instead. So, some shells or sabots uh, mixed in with the armor piercing, and why did I do that? Well, uh, it turns out, video out tomorrow about that, that sabot deals more effective damage against angles. Even though we're overshooting the armor piercing value by a lot, sabot is dealing a lot more damage against angled areas. So, to basically deal more damage against angled areas on crafts, we are adding some sh sabo shells in the mix too. We're not exchanging all the armor piercing values uh, for sabo, just changing some of them because sabo is nice to have in there, in case we'll meet some, uh, well, angle, angular, angular designs. Anyways, let's move on to the next iteration of this ship. Now we can play the game, uh, find new additions. <laughs> uh, whoops, I should actually change to another, yeah, the zoom thing. So what did we add? Not this thing, and that's super old. Well, we've started to work on a missile tower. Yay. So we're having a missile tower with aimable huge missiles to deal some serious missile damage uh, because um, Admiral LCG Canyon wanted to have a craft that bases itself on like uh, APS guns, we selected APS railguns and missiles. 
And we have the barrage of vertical launching large missiles here, but I also wanted to add a uh, circular type of missile tower so that we can aim huge missiles in order to hit, um, well, targets more easily. So here we have them. We have some missile ejectors integrated there. <clears throat> we have um, we have variable thrusters. Uh, we haven't really selected exactly how we will set these up. We made sure that the launch speed is fairly high. Um, I don't see uh, 250 meters per second launch speed is the current launch speed. They're just active radar seekers now. We might make them short range thruster. We need to play around with them a little bit to make them optimal as we always do. Uh, however, because a missile system can be really scared uh, against um, like AP, EMP, AP, high explosive, we added some uh, ERA inside of here, some backwards ERA to protect against that, search protectors, we have the missile computer box here protected, and we have the missiles EMP insulated at as a whole just because the missile uh, receivers are EMP susceptible. So we need to make sure they are indeed uh, very insulated all the way. So uh, that's basically that. Uh, I don't think like this is a pretty well armored tower here. Uh, it should be able to withstand some fire. Of course, it's it's basically just an empty thing uh, or there is no components inside of this turret. It's just because we don't want to lose this big thing. Yeah. And of course, we have some armor on the base down here. Which we can see. Very nice. And it's deep within. Big missile. Lords, this thing is so big that when we kind of aim all the guns, it just lags because all the rotations. <laughs> Oh, my computer isn't designed to build these large things. I, I never, this is the largest thing I have ever made in case you didn't see any of the earlier episodes, which you should. So here is uh, the missile thing. You can see it's actually EMP insulated. We just have some heavy armor in front of it to kind of protect it a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> and integrated surge protectors in case someone hits that piece. But this is kind of the shape of the missile tower, which I'm kind of happy about now. I think it looks pretty decent indeed. Uh, so um, I will add some more things on top of this missile tower, but it's basically firing three huge missiles and they deal loads of damage. I'm just wondering, I will, I will, I will need to check the uh, like speed of the missiles because I'm thinking that Perhaps they're actually better with a short range thruster. Maybe we could make it deal some like a ridiculous thump damage would be kind of fun. Um, otherwise we'll have them shape charges, shape charges um, like these. These are shape charge frag, really efficient, but also kind of, uh, yeah. We want to have a plethora of ways to deal damage, so we might want to switch it up a little bit by making these thumpers and see what results we'll get. Starting to look pretty cozy in here, isn't it? I think so at least. Maybe my version of cozy is weird. But here we can see I've added a nice little top to this uh, structure. And they're actually connected by light blocks, but thanks to... Uh, we are having two connections and they don't blowing up very easily. Um, it like won't pop up except we blow it up in both sides. So it's actually firmly connected uh, because this little top layer is fixed. And I think it works pretty well. We have two diff guns here and we have three D diff uh, series guns uh, just to take out some if we have like a huge missile homing into here, do 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 do, these can shoot it down and we'll be very happy. So uh, also some auxiliary detection because that is always fun to have. Yes. I don't know, hopefully LCG Canyon will be happy with the design so far. Um, 
I will however say that I'm pretty happy with my design. This is definitely one of the cooler looking ships I've made so far. According to me, take that at uh, face value. I don't know. Take it as you want. Um, at least I'm a little bit happy. I'm not sure, did, did we have this EMP node before? Or is this new? I don't think it's new, but it's cool. Uh, so it's like a little bridge. Zoop. And here we have some... Yeah, not EMP. What am I saying? That's lambs. Lamb node. Did you see that lamb node? Jimodism, know your English. So today Jimodism isn't very skilled at English, but that's okay. It's okay, I hope. One thing I know for sure, however, is that we will not be building anything block by block this time. Because that took forever. In that case... Oh! I found a setting where we can speed up the build block by block process a lot, but uh, we can try that maybe. Uh, but anyways, um, what have we... Oh, I also changed my LOD distance, so now it doesn't look weird when we go far away. My FPS suffers a little bit, but my aesthetical eye is very pleased. So, um, if you are tuned into my Twitch, which you should absolutely be, because all future streams from the depth build streams and stuff like that's included, is exclusively on Twitch. And the VODs won't even be going up on this channel. No, the VODs will actually be on the Jimadist channel. Check the links in the description so you can see the VOD YouTube channel and of course Twitch so that you can watch my live streams, which would be very nice to see you there. So drop me a follow and we'll see you I see I'll see you live. But uh, in a recent From the Depth build stream, I constructed some new turrets and uh, one of these uh, turrets is actually going to be on, uh, like, this turret is actually uh, going to be on uh, um, a ship which we will be constructing for uh, uh, Captain Scooby Rocks, another commissioned officer in the arm of Jiminism. Uh, but when I made it, I thought like, hmm, this turret should look really good together with the main railgun, and it should be a decent auxiliary sh uh, turret for this um, extremely large build. So in that uh, recent Twitch build stream we made this thing among others um, and it actually has a very interesting like uh, setup here. I think I'll need to... is it like... Um, we'll just cycle through some modes. There. So now we just need to wait forever. Finally. Um, a few moments later, as the cool kids say. Here you can see we have uh, three meter uh, things here. It's rail assisted gunpowder and here we see why do we have four ammo customizers inside of here. Because I'm lazy and if I don't include the perfect shell on every turret, there is a big risk that turret will not get the perfect shell. Uh, because there are no turret templates, there are no like, uh, what to say, ammo templates that you can save in that in built in menu. It's still actually better, especially for me, to add the correct shells on the sub construct itself if we can fit it. And that's what I did here. This is a beautiful mix of disruptor conduits, um, hash, heat, and armor piercing. EMP frag, is it? EMP frag, yes, exactly like that. And it shoots that mix of shells and it should deal great damage against basically anything. It's a fairly quick uh, cannon. It uh, shoots it with a regularity of 42 RPM, so one and a half second less than that every shot and it shoots them 1200 meters per second, so fairly quickly, won't get shot down by lambs too easily. Has uh, uh, ejectors, so it's a kind of a safe setup, has some redundancy, very nice, it deals with its own recoil, and it's in general just a wholesome good turret. And I've added that as a little auxiliary turret in the front here, so that we can deal with smaller stuff, it's connected up to one of the faster AIs too. 
Uh, here is actually a 420 <laughs> millimeter diff gun, which I made uh, in on that Twitch build screen too. Um, and I added two of them here in the front. I'm not 100% sure they'll stick, but I think they look pretty nice. Actually, let's do it like this. Do, 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 do. Now we'll be getting slowly back. Right. So as the ship spawns in here, um, these are of course very badly protected, and that's because they are diff guns. They will be they're disposable. They'll, they'll fire five shots and be dead, and it's like armor piercing EMP. So it wants to EMP dead stuff in front of us if we're lucky. We also added some additional. Um, anti-missile missiles here in the front because these are uh, directed mediums uh, and they're really powerful they just need to be directed to actually hit more reliably the smaller ones are a little bit more zim 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 uh, but these one are just really nice to direct and yeah we added that and one thing I realized um, during this iteration that I completely missed before was that I have missed to set the correct ammo type for my death guns. Very sad. Uh, fortunately, I thought about that, checked it, and saw oh my god, all my death guns are actually hash. That doesn't work. Or shape charges, I don't remember which. Uh, and of course, uh, diff seawiz guns should be kinetic that's very accurate so that's why they were kind of sucked a little bit so this is fixed so now our uh, diff seawiz guns will actually have a good chance of hitting incoming targets and actually taking them out so that's decent oh uh, and about that build stream do follow me on twitch not to disturb you too much but uh, I did do this thing 33 millimeters um, kinetic seaweed system. I've added two of these two uh, and I just realized that I'll need to I'll need to move this a little bit because they're actually blocked. Like you can see the barrel is pretty low and it hits the deck here so we have to elevate it slash clean it up a little bit so it actually can turn around. Mm, I'll find a good way to do that. In any case that's how it is. Um, we should now look at the next version of this uh, little ship which is not so little. And there we go. We have done some more overhauling. This is like... <laughs> like, remember each of these load-ins is like... <laughs> a few hours later. <laughs> I'm not the fast builder either. I'm like pretty slow builder. <laughs> so maybe it's like 20 minutes for you. But for me it's like an extra hour. Two hours more. <clears throat> but anyways. I decided to, um, if we're using this turret, uh, which we are, we're having more of them. Because um, when we're having a ship, we want to have a standard, we want to have several of the same model, just because otherwise it looks kind of weird. It would be kind of interesting to make a kind of ragtag design somewhere where all the turrets are odd, all the parts are odd, nothing is symmetrical. I would definitely want to do that, but this is not that project. So, we added two turrets on the side here, and I've con I continued with my, uh, like, golden connection rods here, and I thought that, darn, it would be pretty cool if we made it look like cables. So I hid and some cables there, and then I added some cables to this barge. Um, and these are actually hooked up to target different, with, with different AIs. Uh, because remember, some of the shells are shield disruptors, uh, so they should be targeting different areas on the ship to basically disrupt the shields to they basically <clears throat> make everything else deal more damage. So these will basically shoot at the enemy and um, make the, uh, well, the big railguns actually go through a little bit more. Uh, and these are rail assisted, so they take a little bit from our rail uh, energy pool, but I tested it and it's not enough to cause any type of problem. But, I don't know, I think it looks pretty decent so far. Um, one thing I do know is that I'll need to move around these and one thing I also need is to add more processing power. Yes! If we go <clears throat> down here, add a little AI thing and check 
Uh, general processing power. There we go. You can see that detector count, total processing power. Where's the GPP detector? Oh, did I switch them back or what? These are now shape charges, um, remote guidance requires 54 general processing power, so that's a lot. Can you kind of tell me detection GPP? Why, why doesn't it tell me like the damage processing power? Because is it only the AI or what? And there we see, uh, right, so, oh. It existed and then it disappeared. So it said weapon GPP needed. Uh, so it's probably only when they are in the air, uh, but it's it was basically like a lot of processing power. So uh, we are going to add a couple of uh, processing. We're going to move these turrets and I'll be right back. And there we have, we should have some 317. What's 300 times? 317 times 1000. So we have 30, 31,000. <clears throat> in uh, processing power uh, so yeah but that's interesting it's only visible when we kind of fire the missiles I pause the game now I can see it detection needed like that it goes so I just fired my guns and I suppose that oh man Well, we need to check that a little bit again. So basically, can I just add a little thing here? If I just add a little AI connection point connected up to this, does it tell me weapon GPP? It does. Well, that's handy. Okay, uh, and these turrets are also uh, now should be uh, fully functional, turning around and everything like that, set up with a decent ammo type and all. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Okay, but anyways, uh, that's nice. Uh, we hidden them in some different areas. One we've headed in the side here, EMP oh, uh, protected of course. We have some down below. I don't know exactly where I added them. I added them all over the place because of redundancy. So uh, all of them won't be taken out at once, which should be pretty decent for us. So let's just have some fun, spawn a stronghold and see what happens. And stuff is gonna happen pretty quickly. So we actually wanna make sure that we are in slow motion because otherwise I don't think we'll be able to catch what's happening. Here you can see, let's uh, let's follow one of these uh, shots here to see what's happening. So we have the cram volley incoming. We also need to run this in slow motion, like in general, just because if we don't, we'll just have so bad FPS, it's not even funny. But in slow motion, we can kind of deal with their frame rate. Ooh, so much smoke. What's happening here then? Okay, we got something there. Ooh. Going through. The railgun is uh, popping. Oh, now we should probably check out what's happening close to our ship here. Come on, come on, come on. So how are our uh, CWIS system doing? The lambs have targeted them. Ooh, yes. Diff guns. Shot the... Mm, in the air there, so they couldn't reach us. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, well that's cool. It's slightly off angle, so we're firing. Now we have high waves too, so that's... Uh, it's like really high waves. Oh my god, can this even fire without... These waves are kind of uh, very high too. 
Or I really feel the ammo change made it so we're much more survivable. And there we have uh, large missiles coming in. And my god, believe me, I've tried to not do these battles in slow motion. It's just... It doesn't work. <laughs> Sadly. Oh, one thing we are going to add. We're going to add some more continuous disruptor, shield disruptors too. Now, uh, our ship is kind of set up to battle with broadside, like a circle at distance. So, of course, front facing isn't the best <clears throat> setup for it. But um, this is how we'll deal the like initial damage. Shedding block quickly. Bouncing off. Well, that's kind of nice. So that is how far we have done on the super battle carrier this time. We will be adding uh, some like of course this is a fast fire auto cannon but it's very it's very it's a pretty strong auto cannon. Uh, next I do want to add a kind of more sandblaster design as a little auxiliary turret that will just be uh, a smaller turret just firing at a very high fire rate and a lot of uh, disruptors, shield disruptors and stuff like that. And of course we're going to have more uh, towers like a main tower with a bridge. Uh, we might also add another missile tower, uh, but we'll do that only when we have set up this missile tower to be like really effective. And this is outside the angle. And oh, I want to see like our missiles aren't optimized at all. So I'm not sure how high hit rate they even have. Now we have added the detectors. So before. Oh, nice. Bam, ba -dam, ba -dam. Most of them kind of missed, but it looked cool. Yeah, so before we had some troubles with the missiles just because we didn't have enough uh, processing power to actually like hit stuff. But it seems that some of the missiles are still off. The main vertical missile is of course, th th this is the real killer, my man. Frag and heat damage. I don't think there is much that can stand against this this type of swarm. <laughs> Darn it. Damage. Wasted damage. They, mm. they can be tricked if they were to be uh, radar. But if they were to be radar, they would do a natural spread. So... I don't know which is best, but of course uh, they have the potential of just instantly killing this thing very well. Here is the third missile and it popped the water. Yeah, I need to fix these missiles a little bit. They have a problem of dipping into the water and I don't need if I do I need to do some breadboard stuff to actually make them never go into the water. Um, so that's that's a little bit mysterious for me. One thing that we want to add is add better torpedo defenses. Uh, we do have torpedo defenses, of course. These things fire uh, against the torpedoes as well as um, the decoys are actually launching at the torpedo torpedoes which are over here but they are not actually enough to take out all these incoming ones uh, because this is like real strong stuff the lamb is doing a pretty good job at keeping the shells away by itself but of course the sea whiz and stuff uh, we have on our sides 
is doing a pretty good job against that too. I wonder if this is damage we dealt to ourselves or if this is hard to know. I don't know if anything got through. So the Admiral isn't damaged even 1%. Now we have now we have the torpedoes incoming. This is something we have to fix. I'm thinking we're going to have underwater um, like underwater sea with death guns with super cavities or if we should have a fast fire uh, underwater sea with system but we need something uh, because we can't we can't take on a huge uh, torpedo swarm like we have spaced armor so even this direct hit under us oh my god it didn't even detonate that it can't hit anything important but of course we don't want to let them through anyways this one hits well it's just empty space with some ammunition in there so there is uh, there is no real issue this thing oh it hit on that okay water pump yeah, we have spaced armor, so it's kind of okay that we get hit by huge missiles, but I also don't want to be hit by huge missiles. And for me, if I run this game at full speed, uh, doing that would basically cancel my FPS and give me maximum one frame per second, probably less. So that's, um, that's how it is. All right. This thing is starting to look pretty sad, yes. I can actually like... This is normal speed. Or not normal speed, but not slow motion. We can see... We need a little bit more disruptor conduits. Of course, um, the Admiral's ship has a cost that's closing in on 6 million and this is like 1.4 million so it absolutely nothing fair about this battle don't get me wrong it's just that if i try to do a test against a similar size ship um, maybe i could run it in 10 percent speed and then speed it up in post-production but it's really, we really need to find like weird ways to make it work. Because my current computer is just not powerful enough. Okay. But I do believe that's basically it. Maybe we can, maybe we can speed up. We can speed up. Maybe we can find a custom speed that's kind of not stuttering oh it's kind of yeah it's kind of minimum speed even this kind of stutters because now the air pumps are starting to cause yeah well this is basically dead i think uh, it's even despawning now okay well then that's basically that in any case i hope you enjoyed enjoyed this little uh, episode of building a super battleship thing oh we got a bad hit here in the front fortunately it didn't even take out our anti-missile system there no it's safe okay good it didn't hit anything important either that's why we have spaced armor there is always a explosion that's stronger than whatever you have um so spaced armor is uh, is your friend Okay, uh, that's basically that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like and uh, do subscribe so you can tune into the next episode. Uh, we will be continuing to build on this thing and make a lot of other videos and loads of stuff and hopefully it is enjoyable. And if you really want to support the channel, you can of course join the commissioned officers, that's the Patreons. And if you join certain tiers, I will even make a build for you if that is th something you would like. In any case, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Oh, what? I didn't know you... 
I didn't know the missiles got destroyed in parts. It looked like we cut off like pieces of it. That was weird. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. This is your host, Jim Odism, and we are signing out for this time. Bye bye.